the Giant that the head ball coach awakened, one that thrived in urban renewal, and now one where only the Gators get out alive. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on another team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Gators will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it out. It's Bentley. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. You think the fans are ready for this one? The boot's shaking underneath us, guys. Leaves it with the running back. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. The Rebels want to move quickly. Quarterback on the keeper. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. On third and short, trying to impose their will and move the chains. And the Rebels have a first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On third down, he drops the throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Harris. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you can come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. Looking for a block. It's Hawkins. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Offense getting set for first down. The give. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Leaves it with the back. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality. Offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? To the ground to try to pick up the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. The Gators will bring the punt team onto the field. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter to do it. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The Rebels are in the hurry up. To the air, it's dark. Pocket starts to collapse. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that hit. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Here comes the option. Now the pitch. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. And the Rebels with the first and ten. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Going with the ground game left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And not much running room. He had to break a tackle and still break another tackle to try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Not good blocking on the play. But that's what coaches always emphasize, too. Never assume a teammate's going to make the tackle. You run to the ball, and they did it there. 100%. Especially guys that are so big and strong and elusive nowadays. They're going to break tackles. Keep swarming. Keep hitting them. Next guy, don't, don't assume the tackle's going to be made. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. On a big third down, love the discipline by the defense there. We got everybody with their eyes on the quarterback, rallying to the football, showing good speed on D. Nice tackle. Love the team defense. The Rebels line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And they'll get downfield and make the tackle right at the 16-yard line. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. This offense has a second down play. Trying play action. Fires left. Makes the grab. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, the offense trying to attack the perimeter of the field in the passing game, and how about the, the sweet feet by the receiver on that play? Who doesn't like a little dash of the arts with their football? A little ballet moment there. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Mertz. He's looking deep. And he's got it inside the 35. 
And, and a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times. Today. The Gators are marching down the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Just outstanding execution, continuing to work his way back through the football. Yeah, and everything about this route looks vertical. The comeback, it looks like it's a go. I'm thinking speed, and then he sets it down. QB puts the ball on the money, and he makes the play. The give to the left side. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. Quick strike complete. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No. You... Watch down Florida! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They're in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. They're lining up to kick it off, and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards with the roughing the kicker. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. The offense set for a first down play. From the gun, running back gets to give. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. Hand off from the gun. Hard running there. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coaches, block those guys. Don't watch them tackle on guys. A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, and now the defense is really on its heels. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. It's starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. The give to the back. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong. And I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up. And usually, they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Rides to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And if I'm the running back, I'm going to be like, listen, O-line, can you give me something? Can you give me some space to try to make somebody miss and not have another guy right next to me? I I'm giving the offensive line an earful. I need some holes, need some space up front. they got to do a better job. 
Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. A little screen to the running back. Really strong job by the defense. A negative play on third down. And you're trying to get the ball to the running back quick and let him get some space, but there was absolutely no space. They penetrated quickly, and they got him before he could even get going. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. He'll try to really get into this one. And that one will sail out of bounds. No chance for a return there. The Gators sending the offense back to work. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Got his man quickly. Turns it on in midfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They're down to the 35 on first and 10. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Got enough for the first down and wants more. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. And the Gators getting set on first and ten. He wants to throw it again. Getting some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. If it works. They tried to follow up the big run with a pass and didn't work out for them. Now, how about a good job by the defense? You know, sometimes when you, when you give up runs, you get more aggressive. You want to bring more guys to the line of scrimmage and you want to overreact. The defense stayed calm, stayed true came up with a big sack the next play. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Looking for a man. It's Mertz. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Gators. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The league's not insurmountable, just down 14-0. But, David, you don't score here, and it could get a little tricky fast. If you don't score here, if you don't possess the football and put something together to give your defense a little bit of a blow, it's not the ideal start. But it ain't like this game's late in the football game. Create some momentum here in the second quarter. Yeah, momentum's a real thing in college football. This team needs the juju to get going. That first quarter is one they'd love to forget. So find your best playmakers now. Get them isolated. Get them the football. And let them go to work. They'll give it to the back. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. 
and here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. First down physicality wins football games being able to run the football and create balance and and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football and i feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting to happen his vision his quickness and he's got a burst if you give this guy just a crease he's going to hit it and right now he's doing some damage on this defense that db had a different story he had something to say coming up making a physical tackle And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. He'll do it himself. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. These read option plays are very hard to stop because you got to have enough guys in the box to play that immediate run, but also always be ready for that quarterback to take the ball and scoot out wide. And when the quarterback operates this like a magician and makes it even tougher. When he can see it, read it, and just flat go, those easy plays right there, I mean, he just picks up a little bit of yardage, but he can do it again and again and again, and it's just frustrating. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? The Rebels will punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And no chance for the return man to get his hands on that one as it hops out of bounds. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They've jumped on them, executing at a high level and up 14-0, David. This is the exact start you want. And the offense is playing great. Defense has gotten stops. You're in a position now, Palmer, to put the hammer down and get a three-possession lead. I'm really impressed with their physicality on both sides of the ball early in this one. They've been winning in the trenches. So here on offense, keep running the football and show your dominance. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Give to the running back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job game tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Dropping back, it's Mertz. Working the middle, it's complete. Really nice job there by both guys, the throw and the catch, to work that defense and get the first down. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. They'll go to the ground. Nice move to stay on his feet. They'll get him at the 45, but he got 10 on that one. I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. And the timing just a hair off. second down after the incompletion. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. Oh, there might have been trouble if they hadn't knocked him down so quickly. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes. He's got some speed. And if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. 
in the dead center of the field as they try to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle, it's Wilson. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course, he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Makes a grab, and he's dragged down. Hey, listen, on offense, just take what the defense gives you. Quarterback looks out wide. He sees the DB way off of the receiver. Throw him the easy hitch pass. You'll take that completion. Second down coming up. Dropping back. It's Mertz. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. From the gun, wants to pass. Quickly complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that play. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got it! And he was pushing for that goal line, but the D stopped him at the two. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. Well, the game plan's been pretty simple offensively, right? They are taking shots, and they're being aggressive, throwing it down the field. This guy's already got two touchdown passes. We're still in the first half, and on that last one, he was looking for number three. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third, and he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Florida! Follow the blocker. The offensive line will take you to the hallelujah land. And I tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and you know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. Didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. They'll try the run. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. And the Rebels will kick it away to crank up the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Finds his way up to the 24 before he goes out of bounds. The Gators sending the offense back to work. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. 
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the running back has it. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Throwing right. It's caught downfield. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. The receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. Throws for the tight end. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes you're just too open. Good, wide open, big play opportunity. Hits him right between the numbers. you got to make that play. Those are one of those where I, I tap my helmet like, dude, that, that was me. That was all me. My bad. Give me another opportunity later on. He's back to throw on second down. Quickly out to the tight end. They almost got a first down there. Stopped a yard short. It'll be third down. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down, and we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner Pollock. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field, getting in the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, aw, shucks, or something. Aw, shucks, or something. And that is why this punter is such a big weapon. He can completely flip the field. He's got a cannon for a leg. That was a moonshot. They were able to get downfield, and now this offense, they've got a lot of work to do if they're going to score. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of that. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. Open space at the 25. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. That is exactly what you want from your offense. Create some space, get out of the shadow of your own end zone, Palmer, and make it easier on this offense. Yeah, it's nice when you have a running back like that, too, that can create that space for you. Now, if you're the play caller, your entire playbook is wide open. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. The run from the shotgun. Not a lot of movement on that one. The defense in position. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, I love this. Third down and short. I got to be aggressive on defense, bring some pressure. You could tell it made him feel uncomfortable right from the jump. The defense guessed, guessed right, got the tackle for a loss, now set up a better fourth down for them. And the Rebels send out the punt unit. 
They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll bring it back. It's Hawkins. Smashes ahead. Really explosive when he gets his hands on the ball, and he found a couple of crevices and made a nice game before being run out of bounds. He'll start this drive firing. He's right on target. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. That receiver found the open space in the zone coverage, and as a defense, honestly, you just throw your hands up on that because they covered it pretty well. It was just a good play call and really nice execution. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Looking to throw, it's Mertz. Firing to the right, complete. He's just winning that matchup in the slot every time. And when you put him in the slot, Reese, he's closer to the quarterback. It's an easier throw. We can run in, we can run out, and really take advantage of his versatility of the guy in that slot position. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Well, the receiver was able to make the catch on the slant throw, and then he got north right away. He creased the defense with his speed, picking up extra yardage after catching the slant. The Gators come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Grab behind the line, it's Johnson. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. He wants to pass it on second down. Snagged in the middle. It's Wilson. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? <laughs> that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Uh, listen, he's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. He's and the defense gets home. yippee ki -yay at the 35. All right, this offense needs to come up with a solution for this defensive end because he is a problem. They have got to find a way to help out the offensive tackle to prevent this guy from getting to the quarterback. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Zings it complete to the right. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. And that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Complete downfield. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stops. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Snags it. Touchdown, Gator. And the route is on. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right, shoot, he's on so much fire. You might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. He marched 78 yards down the field, and the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The 
kickoff team out there and ready to go. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bentley. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quarterback on the keeper. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking downfield, it's Dart. Coming after it. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. He's looking to throw. Oh, he's going to try to hit him into double coverage, and he picked it off. He'll try to take it back. And after the interception return, he gets it down to the 32-yard line. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats and get the INT. Nice job by this team. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. And so, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Now the play fake. Fires toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. You got a big lead in the fourth quarter, and you take that shot, and you stop the clock. And it's a long shot, but you're letting teams hang around. And I, I prefer to, to win. Like, I, I want to make sure that... You know, if I'm up, I'm going to run the football, but there is definitely a school of thought in nowadays where I'm putting up stats and I'm keeping the pedal to the floor. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. You've got to make the opponent pay for turning the football over. And while this team would have liked to have scored a touchdown off that pick, I think they're pretty happy getting the field goal. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. It. And, Paul, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drive. And here comes the offense on second down. 
to the air. It's dark. Right on target this time. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Finds his man. It's Wells. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. How crazy is it that one of the best receivers in all of college football just made his first catch in this big of a game? You've got to give the defense tons of credit. They've had a plan for him. They've limited him, and that's why they're going to win. The Rebels have it with a first and ten. They keep attacking through the air. Snares it outside. It's Harris. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, hats off to this defense and their ability to shut this guy down. He's one of the best receivers in all college football. That was only his second catch of the game. And we're essentially in a two-minute situation. They have risen to the challenge. They knew coming in they were going to have to limit him, but I don't know if they even thought they'd be able to do this good of a job. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. He's going to pass. Caught behind the line. It's Wells. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. And the Rebels are threatening in the red zone. Looking to pass. It's Dart. Throws to the back. Gets it out quickly. They're able to keep him out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the two after the big play in the passing game. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. The Rebels have it in scoring position on first and goal. Direct snap. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. They'll go with a direct snap. And will cruise into the end zone. Touchdown, oh! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown and show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. The AT unit on the field. The extra point is good, but the lead is still big, down 31-7. An 84-yard drive there, and they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. 
He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Ball spotted at the 29. Here they come on third and short. They'll try to run for it. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. The give to the lone running back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. At midfield, he's got room. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting pushed and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. He breaks a tackle. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass and make him onto the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They'll give it to Johnson. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. They'll try to power their way ahead. Across the 25, he's got room. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Third down and two, you know it's time to get physical, and this unit paves the way, Jesse, and gets the big first down. And this back's got such a burst, too, doesn't he? As soon as he saw the hole, he exploded through it and picked up a huge chunk of yards. Motion from the offense. Handoff to the lone back. He's all the way down to the three. Showed it all on that run. And it's really nice to have a workhorse running back that you know you can feed and get productive gain after gain. Now over 100 yards. You've already got some separation on the scoreboard. I would continue to feed this workhorse. And they don't have to go for a touchdown here with this little time left and with the lead, but they might anyway. On the ground. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. They're lining up to boot it away. Yeah. 
on the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. There's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right. Everyone's going to have to have a real hard look at themselves, I think, this week after watching the film and in the practice. And they just got to take accountability. They have to understand man for man in this offense, they've got to do a better job next time they're on the field. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And this game is obviously out of hand. And, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let, let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Hand off to the single back. And after the short gain, that is going to put this one in the books. 